Hello. Um, so, uh, that's a nice little intro there to represent what this car is all about. <laughs> um, this car represents Eastern Europe. This is the most Eastern European car ever made. The E46 BMW 3 Series. Look, look at this beauty. Now this this year is a 2004. This is the last of the last E46s ever made. 2004 facelift everything. Not a. It's not a. Uh, it does have the M package. Does have the good, uh, the good, the good bumpers and all that. But still, you know, it's a facelift. It's got the cool, you know, the cleaner, the most, you know, the better looking headlights and all that. But this is special. This is the. Not only is this the most Eastern European car, this is the most Eastern European model of the most Eastern European car. Let me show you. It's a 320D, baby. A 320D. CD. Because this bad boy is the coupe. This is the most, the most thug, the most gang shit of them all. The coupe. Now every single... Uh, let me just explain what kind of guy in Eastern Europe drives this car. Now imagine... A big, you know, a very big back kind of guy. You know, has a big back, has a shaved head. Uh, wears one of those, uh, wears a, you know, a fanny pack of sorts around his neck or around his shoulder. And, you know, sometimes wears a very aggressively bent baseball cap. I, some kind of uh, name brand like Adidas or Nike. No, I'm not saying anything bad about the people who, you know, that, that's just how they look. That's the person, like 70% of the time you see somebody in an E46, that's how they look. The other 30%, it's either an old guy who just bought an e E46 like a while ago, and <laughs> the owner is telling me to talk about gang shit and how it's a thug car. Um, <laughs> right, right. Not a lot of old people drive the coupes. A lot of them drive the uh, the estates, right? The E the E36 the estates. Uh, but you know that's the type of person you would see in this car. But this is this car is much more than that. This car is much more than that. This is this is one of the best ways in Europe, at least, to buy and have like a good sports car like this. E46s have amazing steering, amazing transmissions, just a very very nice car. And this is the best way on a budget to get one of these because uh, in Europe prices are a bit higher for things, you know, taxes and all that. And this is a very nice way to have a very nice car, especially. So this is a 320 CD. So in the name of Eastern Europe, I will be cosplaying. I will be cosplaying one of those people. Let me just let me just. Uh, do I look aggressive now? I don't know. Maybe in some parts of the world, wearing such a uh, cap is not really interpreted as being a uh, aggressive guy. But here in Bulgaria, here in Eastern Europe, right? You know, what of uh, aggressive young. Gopniks, as you would say, uh, thug boys would wear these, wear these, you know, they walk around like this, like, oh shit, I'm gonna fuck you up, bro. Right. I don't know what to say, but this is a cool car. So this being a the most coveted, the most loved BMW of them all in Eastern Europe, the 320 diesel. So that means it's a two liter, <laughs> yeah, it's a two liter four cylinder. Although, you know, most, 99% of people who understand BMWs would say don't buy a four cylinder BMW, but you know, this, this gets like what seven, six, six mile, uh, not miles per hour, six miles. Per hour. <laughs> this gets, this gets uh, six, seven, eight city, uh, six to seven liters per hundred kilometers city. Yes, that's. I mean, it's much easier to say MPG, but it's not MPG. It's liters per hundred kilometers. But as you can see, as any proper Eastern European car of a car guy. It throws a lot of fucking black smoke. We're gonna see it later in the video how it just kind of just look. Come look at the exhaust, boys. Look at this thing. What's it? This is like Fanta black, bro. Like this is pure pitch darkness right here. There's a lot of just look at the number plate. It's it's really dark. This is all. This is not dirt. This is all diesel fumes right here. But it's a BMW, bro. That's that's supposed to be doing it. Every every diesel BMW needs to be straight by from the factory, I think. And a nice little uh, ECU tune from the factory. Now, however you look at it, the E46 will forever be a classic. It just has, it just has an absolutely beautiful form. The, the coupe, 
in my opinion, is the best looking. The sedan also is quite good looking. Now the estate. If you make it good looking, it's gonna be good looking. But like this is a completely stock BMW. Nothing. It's not lowered. It's on uh, nice rims, of course. But this is a stock car, and it looks absolutely amazing. Now this is where uh, this is where the, all the horses hide. Oh wow! It's fucking that's risky. Come on now. Look at that. Nothing. Just a bunch of plastic. Well, that's with most new cars. Just I want to see you just how, just how much space there is. The engine ends right here. That's because BMWs are BMWs are meant to be six cylinders. And as, as you can see, that we have one, two, three, and then four somewhere in the back. And that's not fun for maintenance, but it's, you know it should not break too often. Now I don't know. This is the M47 engine, the diesel M47, and this is the good one because BMW have an engine where all the all the belts are on the other side of the car, so you would need to drop the whole engine to you know fix your belts and all that but this one is uh it's it's got belts over here so that's good but, but you know we don't have much here what it, what is here what is this it seems a bit empty so the bmw e46's interior is it's got two sides of, to it it's amazing and it's shit at the same time let me let me explain now when you come in and sit down although the driver of this car has a very shit uh, sitting position in general the BMW e46 has an amazing position you, you just sit down your wheel is right in front of you perfectly pedals perfect the gear shifter is exactly look at this shit you, you you get your arm on the on the armrest and there you go you can go into every gear no problem it, it hugs you it hugs you very nice you got a big central console because it's a real wheel drive car of course it's it's a very nice place to be except it's, it looks very dated everything on it looks like it's from the early 90s the head cluster it looks like it's from 1988 right uh, the climate control has got climate control of course uh, automatic climate control all that good stuff um, also dated you can see it in all you can see it in the 38 you can see them you know, from this generation it kind of look dated, but at the same time it doesn't look shit because some cars look awful I'm not saying anything but this is all all in all it's a very nice place to be a few modifications here and there to the head cluster to a few things like absolutely every single goddamn e46 has carbon trim all around it it's just everybody does it because it you know it, it starts to wear very it's, it's, it wears out a lot and it just looks much cleaner with carbon and you know it, it, it makes it a bit sportier it's just very nice place to be in so every single youtuber like that refuse cars like mainly like Doug Demure and those type of shit uh, they they go and try and sit in the on the rear in the rear seats now all of them are quite big guys I'm around six foot so I'm not that big of a guy let's see how how much space we got in a coupe right okay. absolutely no trouble oh dude oh look at this this is nice. There's a lot of space in here. There is absolutely no problem for me. Oh, that's very good. Oh, shit. Let's see if we can get out, though. Ah, uh -huh. no problem. Now, if you're uh, if you're some kind of gigantic fucking dude, right? Now, you know, this is maybe maybe don't sit in the rear seat of a of a coupe, but if you're a normal human being, you got no problem. Right. Let's start the beast. It's time to get into the real things. Some things start, you know, working. Just... Oh, we got turbo noises. Very nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Maybe somebody doesn't really have a working catalytic converter right now. Oh, we just... Uh, <laughs> we have new information just right now from the owner this car doesn't have a catalytic converter that's why it's throwing smoke and that's a very eastern european thing to have to not have i guess so the first thing you do when you get into a bmw 
you hold the DSC button and uh, we no longer have uh, any any problems when with the slidey bitey boys you know uh, as it's a BMW you know we don't have a working headlight so that's that's fine but I don't know the more you sit in it the better you feel uh, okay first 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 uh, first thing I might put it cool. all right it's a bit sweaty but it's sweaty We had a few, we had a bit of a, a bit of a problems here and there, uh, some technical problems, but everything's sorted. Right, I, I will say that it's got a very, it's got a light at the same time very not light clutch. Uh, it's got oh, it's got very nice heavy steering. That's what you wanna. That's what you want in a um, in a sports car. You know, a sports coupe. You want soft steering. You want to feel the road, and an E46 does feel the road is very nice it's time for the driving portion of course no traction control because we, we're not bitches mind you this is my uh third time driving a rear wheel drive car so you know it is what it is oh it is a quick boy oh Right, as uh, as I don't want to die and I don't want to kill three people with me in this car, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill us. You know we don't have an airbag here, but it's just as a car is is good. This is 150 150 horsepower, right? Yeah, uh, that's not a lot, but for Europe is adequate. Now if you're American, where for Americans, oh wait, we got a bend here. What a big bend for Americans. A three-liter V6 Camry, or whatever the fuck, you know, Acura. Those cars are slow for them, right? They got 300 horsepower, dude. A 200 something, or 200 odd horsepower, and they're slow for them. But here in Europe, we got very, we got regulations and shit, taxes and stuff. So a lot of cars are not as, oh, oh. or we, they, they don't have too high of a horsepower norm. But this is very easy. This is a, this is a diesel, man. Diesels get re, re, retuned, remapped like that it's just so easy and you can make a ton of power with these cars i mean a ton of power relatively speaking you can easily get 200 200 something horsepower especially once you start upgrading turbines and all that but it's it's just very nice to drive it's nice it's uh, somewhat stable of course this is absolutely stock suspension so we've got body roll but for what it's worth i mean it's much better than a lancia i can tell you that much i can tell you that much very very plant very nice feeling car Gear shifts are a bit sloppy, but it might be because of the age of the car. Well, it's not. Right, since we are in Eastern Europe after all, uh, we, I've stopped here on this hill to, uh, you know, we need to turn yeah, around cool. to get the new GoPros and shit. <laughs> We're going on a trip, boys. <laughs> all right. Right now, this is where the real things, where, where the real fun begins. Going uphill, where it's uh, much less scary to do things. Right, I just wanna. The cameraman is quite a big guy, so it's really no, hard to see. Race fast watch. Oh, we actually didn't. We actually had traction control on. That's not effective. Holy shit, the amount of smoke we just threw. Now that's how you drive a BMW. I mean, I'm going full throttle and it's like quiet. It's not nice. It's not, it's not rinky dinky, you know, it's not, it's not like I'm driving a Lancia, right? And it actually goes like it just, once you flick it, it just, when the turbo comes on, it just starts going, uh, no problem. But obviously, I am not a person who uh, does this quite often, so it's a bit, it's a bit ooh, spooky. <laughs> He's a blind corner, so I don't want to do. Oh, it has. <laughs> it's like I'm playing a game. Like it, it counter sears for itself. That's nice. I mean, like this is this is genuinely the first time I've. Uh, I don't want to say drifted. It's like power sliding more. I mean, not even power sliding. Just like exit drifting. 
Oh, this is not a nice corner to It's even just a tiny bit more power and it will just kick through each, each corner, no problem. Man, these guys are like taking that. What the fuck, bro? Holy shit, I don't know if you caught that on camera, but that was you not... go, bro? <laughs> oh, shit. That was not a good shift. <laughs> Poor car, man. This car, you know, the guy, uh, the, the, the owner looks like, you know, looks like a guy that would do this, but uh, he drives like a normal dude. <laughs> dude, I can, I can absolutely see why BMW drivers are assholes. I can genuinely fucking see, this is so fun, just to fucking do this shit. I can fucking see, I have, I've got a friend with an E92, drives like an absolute fucking nut job, but I can see why it's fun. It's always fun, I just... That's not a good shift again. You just kind of fucking do these things in it. Damn, I can... I should really, I really should not buy a BMW. God fucking damn it. It's so fun to just hoon around. So in closing, very fun car, I don't know. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I don't know how it will come out. This is, this is very, very... Very just, you know, we just came out here, just did some stuff. Very fun. Very fun to just, you know, fuck about, you know. This is Eastern Europe, and this is how you're supposed to drive a BMW. That's my conclusion, right? I think that's the that's the end of the thesis, right? This is how you're supposed to drive such a car in Eastern Europe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.